And you guys are on. Yeah. Seeing an 11? Three. I'll go first. There we go. Six. Two. Take two. It's got a better six. Six. A little better. Keep it. Try one. Leave it. Go ahead. It's only a turn two. Nothing left. Take one. Yeah, I'm sure. That's true. one. Throw it away. Go ahead. Take one. Take four. Go to fifteen. Do you mind if I move you down? Yes, sir. I look at the top five cards and I choose an enchantment or a creature among them. Yeah, sure. Japanese retraction. Nice. For all, I was trying to get this deck uh, fully foreign and only communist country language. <laughs> but I slowed down on that. Goal. I think, man, I really should take the test lesson. I don't know how lucky I feel there. Other than Chinese, what languages? I mean, I, I guess we're doing historical. Chinese, Russian. Uh, yeah, historical and communism. And then Korean. Uh, Russia's not really communist anymore. Well, I mean, yeah, the sure. In name. They it call is themselves still the second communist. biggest party. I'll scry one. Uh, ship it. Go ahead. I do agree that Russia is more capitalist than most countries, but... Hmm. They call themselves going to be this. In some ways, Russia is more capitalist than the U.S. That's an interesting way to say it. Sure. Turn out of 13? That's true. Me or... Throw this away. Got 12. Island. Matt's probably going to tell me I shouldn't have kept that hand when this goes up on YouTube. Yeah. And then. The old main phase anticipate. Look at the top three. Oh, you know impulse. Garbage. Uh, yeah. Can I just put them all on the bottom and draw a different one? <laughs> Please. we will take... Uh, I already played a land this turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, on the bottom. 
Pass. Monty Python, the Holy Grail. What is your favorite color? Blue. No. Ah! It's me. Yeah. God damn it! What's happening over there? This one. Goobles. Some old gobble. That's my address. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, yeah. Go for it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so Four color. I don't play any black. I don't need any. I don't need any I did think about adding black to the deck, but it's not worth it. And I do play mana confluences, so like technically I could play black cards and carry it. There's no reason I couldn't play something that costs like one black. But I haven't added it. If they had put Doomblade in Origins, Doomblade instead of Ultimate Price. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Doomblade would definitely be decided. I guess Doomblade doesn't kill Sea Drenna, so maybe I wouldn't even play it. <laughs> But I may play Absent Charm at some point in the future. Try to think of a I'm sorry if I didn't like to clear this guy. I should have played him first. Okay. Um, Did you? He had one of them in here. Yeah, and I was gonna. It doesn't matter what order you add in. It's the same way. And I'm going to respond with just swinging with big two berserkers. Two two. Um, I'll just take them. Have a nine. Uh, my I'll try nine. I lost one from the flooded stream. Oh, did I? Eight. Eight. Ah, my apologies. End of turn. Let's get lucky. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, that's not lucky. I'll take this. Okay, let's do it. Come on. Come on. No. I keep trying to I can still do it. Um, I added my own like spin to it. White, blue, red. Just guys can see. Tap for blue. Retraction helix targeting Rattleclaw Mystic. Triggers Just Guy Sentency. So I'll we'll tap him. And then I draw a discard, and he gets a plus one. Draw a discard for that. That's no good. That's no good. Bounce Zergo back to hand with the Retraction Helix ability. And the Hammer Hands go to the grave. And then I'll play Briber's Purse for zero. Trigger Jeskai Ascendancy. Up to two. Untap, draw, discard. 
And then tap, bounce grabber's purse, replay for zero, untap, bounce, replay, do that a hundred times and swing in. Does that do it? So, all right. All right? <laughs> Did we get there? Uh. <laughs> Pyrokinesis. A little late. Oh, that that was. Was. That's the piece. So because so retraction helix says until end of turn target creature gains the ability tap return target non land permanent to its owner's hand. Okay. So at first I used it to bounce your Zergo because it's a non land permanent, and then this cost X so I can pay zero as X. So I choose zero for X and I cast it for zero. It triggers Jessica Ascendancy, which untaps my guy, and then I can use the ability to bounce Rivers first. And then replay it for zero, which untaps him. And every time he does that, and he gains plus one, plus one each time. So I can bounce, replay, bounce, replay, and then swing in on the last one. That's crazy. Woo! It's close. I need to keep blockers. You need to keep more blockers than I can bounce. Yeah. I'm gonna keep. And then modern has Boris, Shrekinder, and Spite. Yeah. Say non-dragons. Because you know I like running Blood Moon and Staring Bridge in the same. I don't know. Tell me that's an attack and it's all gold. Dragon water. Um, uh, I to turn to any card Turn one gate. I work. This is zero one flyer. You can produce mana of any color. Two down. Yeah, so much better. Oh, yeah. Infinitely better. So I have to take three. How many of this do you have? Just three. I got them from going to the Pokemon movie three times. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to sell them? No, definitely not. <laughs> they're not worth very much. You can find them on eBay for like a dollar or two each. Yeah. Sadly, they're not legal in anything, but you know. <laughs> they're awesome. Yeah, because really they have a different card back, so they have this bizarre card back. They're not legal in Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only reason. Yeah. And also, like, the I mean, they do have text. Too. You it can read really the, like, they have a translation for the text, but you still can't play. Oh, really? I didn't even know they have it. Yeah, so it's like psychic energy, psychic energy, side shock deals 30 damage and it has, you flip a coin and it paralyzes them if you get heads. Mm -hmm. And then he has a weakness to psychic, he has no resistance, and he has, he has a 30 HP, which is yeah. Uh, yeah. Not pretty bad for a Mew. Which is funny because they could have made him this super broken Mew that has uh, an ability that says he can't be damaged by all Pokemon, <laughs> which is a hilariously strong ability and they could have just printed that Mew as the Egyptian one, but they didn't. I'll gain two off my Cleric. Do you play it once this Kind of. I play the. I have the emulator on my phone for the old school version. You know, I have a bunch of cards. Uh, so I really have the game. I have the league here now. Uh, it meets on Thursday play, and Sunday. Uh, I play Do the Wave. I, I built the Do the Wave deck recently, actually, and it's awesome. So cool. I used to play Speed Drill it back in the day. It is awesome. I was that jerk. 18. Oh, yeah. But I actually changed my deck, my main deck right now in the game is uh, the Scyther deck, what, where you like you go one? turn one from you took, player. Yeah, I took yeah, three yeah. and then pick the one and then game two. We were on about yeah. Pokemon League. So my current deck is uh, you start out with Scyther and then you Sword Stance turn one yep. and double colorless energy, slash them for 60, and you play four plus power, four item finders. Uh, so anytime they have more than 60 HP, you just take through your deck with Professor Oaks and stuff and you like stack seven plus powers on your deck. <laughs> It's super, it's basically like vintage. I like that. It's a lot of fun. It's vintage, but you mulligan up instead of down. Well, you don't even mulligan anywhere. You just mulligan, you just get to draw seven as many times as you want. Yeah, that's what I'm so saying. So I play no Pokemon except Scyther, and I just mulligan until I hit Scyther, and it's great. Well, you give your opponent a card every time you do that, though. No, not in the old version. Not in the old version? Not in the game, not in the very first iteration of Pokemon uh, rules. I did not know that. And swing for... Um, I'm gonna block. Just and I'll take one from the Lightning Berserker. Go to 17. These guys trade. Uh, 
Good end of 13. Jace, go ahead. Sounds <laughs> alright. Yep, that's fine. 15 lands. And now I know what Jace is in Russian. Oh, he's so good. <laughs> he's good in any language. And this guy's back here. Okay. He blocks one ones. Brogan. <laughs> Two OP, <he> must be <laughs> Please. Should have made him a zero one. Wizard oh, slush. Yeah. Should have made him an O three wizard. Hit three to dash him in. Sure. Taken five. And bounce him back. Eight. Yeah, I'm at eight. It's looking bad. I scry one. I don't like that. Is that combo like your win condition? Not the only one, but it's the main one. Go ahead. That's a really cool combo. I've been playing it since cons. I built the deck myself, but the combo came, I mean, oh, yeah. like, discovering oh, a combo. Everybody knows about the combo when cons comes out. But I'm the only one playing it, so I'm the only one testing decks for it. So oh, you're doing games. Some pro players have recently picked up this deck now that Jace is out because they've realized that it's actually a good deck. So eventually I'll have some good decks to copy, but for now I'm on my own. I spent a lot of work on this deck. I've drawn, I think, 1,500 hands with this deck now in the efforts of finding the right list. Not all of them in real games of Magic. Lots of people fishing, but... Fair enough. Three damage. Go down to five. Um, I'm going to... Tap two. Sure. Then I'm three, and then I'm gonna type. That'll do it. There we go. Next. There you go. I need a sweet hand with like four order char knight of the forward order, please. I want like twin flame, twin flame, knight of the forward order. No lands. I'll do it. I did have Knight of the Forward Order. <laughs> or Eric, whatever his name is. Yeah. So I'm considering making uh, Death and Taxes for Standard while we still have Theros in. I'm wondering if I should be running Knight and just Sideboard. Which one? The one you just mentioned, the two life. I think he's really good in the sideboard. You could play like two main, two side or something like that if you're worried about red. Mm -hmm. He's he's pretty strong. What I mean by the abs and decks playing him in the sideboard too. And you don't even need four to make him. Like just having three is wrong. I also need four of the uh, Dahlia's Pegasus in order to make the deck work, and I have zero right now. Four Dahlia. But the no cleric, Pegasus. the important thing about the forward order guy is that regardless of how much life he gains you, he's going to mm -hmm. trade with Rabbles. That's it. And uh, Pile Drivers. Even. Which, like, if you can trade for a Pile Driver, even threatening to trade for a Pile Driver is good enough. For the next three months, while well, we have Tribal Goblins and Standard Fun. I suspect it'll stick around even when Rabble Master rotates. Poor guy, we don't need you. Yeah, I mean, he's good, but we have other goblins. That's right. We have a lot of goblins in standard right now. Hey, we're going back to Zendikar. Maybe get a goblin guide now. Oh, please, no. I wish. Please, no. Alright. You guys follow the water at all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little bit. I will keep and start off with a pain lane. Go ahead. I found a J story that I actually like. I used to follow the lore shitload and uh, kind of dropped off since then. I like the Dominaria timeline a lot more than all of this Neo Walker nonsense. I like my Planeswalkers to be omnipotent and just completely absurd. Like, Urza is by far my favorite character in the universe because he's essentially just like... Would you rather them be omnipotent or would you rather be able to play the card in the game? I don't think the two are necessarily... Oh, you don't? Because they printed Urza as a non-Planeswalker. Like, they yeah, can just print blind the powered-down version of him. Uh, I think we have to take... Carry it. Pass. I'm at night. Oh, yeah. The center. 
Like, yeah, that reading like the invasion books and like so Urz is facing off against a Phyrexian army on his own, so he's like, boom, I cast a fireball that destroys half of the Phyrexian army, and then I release a cloud of mechanical birds from my other hand that destroys a third of the army, and then I you know, I send the other half back to Phyrexian. And it's like, alright, you're a cool guy. We get it. But fractions. <laughs> but fractions. And the Titans, that's cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. Time, time yeah, three and four. Four. Go to fifteen. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? Got a fourteen. That's Yeah, so she's extra. Uh, yeah, it's expert. Uh, yeah, carry dids, do they have genders? I don't know. I don't think so. She's definitely got a, some curves. <laughs> yeah, that. Right. So I take three, I go to 11. Uh, uh, three, three. Right. Uh, it's been free. Take me at eight. Sweet top deck. <laughs> I thought you were conceding for a second. I just have to go for it. Just guy ascendancy. Go down to six. Yeah. Gotta pay that life one way or the other. That, that Go down to five. That land back. I can still get lucky. Trigger Jessica. Untap. Draw discard. Commune hits. Dun 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 dun. dun. Where is it? Dragon Mantle. That's the one. Not even anything. Wow. Wow. Literally no targets, right? Yep. Pass. Next card. Next card after that. Oh. Wait, no. You'd rather have it. This hand needs to be stone, land, land, land. <laughs> or I guess it could be like a creature. That's fine. Even if it's Ravel Master, I'm okay. Oh, so close. It's not that it's a Japanese. Sure. But I think it's just word in more card. So you can't block? Yes, it's a so with the trigger, it's 3 2 again? No, it's just me. 3 2, 3 3, yeah, three, three, three. Two. Hammerhand is toughness as well? Yeah, yeah okay. still does it. The game's. Right. No clerics any of those games there was, of course. Yep, and then I can bounce and replay it. Doesn't help now, though. I've seen too many mana confluences. Every red game yeah, that, I've seen two mana that confluences. That land base, jeez. I don't normally see two mana confluences in a game, though. 
I didn't actually put in effort in. I kind of rely on seeing more life gain than life loss in, against those matches. Especially playing four clerics. Four clerics and a command. Literally four clerics. And two twin flames. Jeez. What can you do? Yes. Twin flames pretty good with cleric.